Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here, and it's been about like 12 years ago when I started my very first tech website called epicenter.com, and this was all about the mini ITX form factor, small little embedded devices, bare bones, and all of this. You know, today I would love to show you an amazing platform that is also kind of embracing or re embracing and reanimating the small form factor again. We're talking about the brand new. Gigabyte Bricks Pro. So this is going to be the very, very first small form factor PC that's out there that comes with the HDE5200 graphics card. Um, that's the Iris Pro from Intel. And um, Gigabyte was showcasing this one here at IDF 2013 in San Francisco. That was in September, beginning of September or mid-September. And um, this is just an absolutely amazing device. You can't buy this right now, but we've been really, really begging Gigabyte on our knees to get one so we can take it with us for CS 2014 to use it as our mobile video editing machine. We're gonna unbox it, I'm gonna show you what this is all about, I'm gonna give you all the specs, and of course, we're gonna benchmark the hell out of this device. So we got the red version. There's also a yellow one and even, a, I think, a black and a white one. Um, let's take a quick look around this box. It gives you um, some important information about what you can expect, what kind of connectors you have. But let's also try to check out which version we got. So this is um, the Brix i5, which comes with a 4570R Core i5 processor. So this is an Intel Haswell, fourth generation of the Core i5. Um, you can put two DDR3 as ODIMMs in there, and of course, it's a bare bone, therefore you also need a hard disk. So let's uh, unbox this right away. Uh, you might wonder what this is going to cost. I just can't tell you right now, but I would guess roughly about 500 US dollars. That means 500 US dollars for the Core i5 version, which comes, once again, without any memory and without any hard disk juice. That wasn't so easy to open. Um, this is the bricks. Uh, we're gonna unwrap this a little bit later. Let's see what kind of accessories we're getting. So here's a little uh, manual that also tells you how you're getting your memory in there, how to connect your um, hard disk or SSD, and also, which is kind of interesting, how to um, connect it to the back side of your display or monitor with the spacer mount, which should also be part of this package. Here we go. There you go, so they're using the Beza standard. And then you have a couple of screws. Um, let me check this. First of all, yeah, that is hard cable. These are the screws for the Beza mount. And last but not the least, we have a PSU, of course. Well, that's quite a big one. But you know what, you need to keep in mind that this is, once again, running on the fourth generation of the Core i5, and this is not the ULV version that you would expect from any Ultra model. So let's get rid of all these um, little accessories here, and finally, unwrap this cute little device. Look at this. Well, as you can tell, the top is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but this is how it looks like. It almost fits into the palm of your hands, and this is one of the most powerful machines that you can get out there. That is only, uh, I think, like 1.5 kilograms. We're talking about roughly about 10 by 11 centimeters, and this should be, let's say, 6 centimeters. So let's take a quick look around the device. We have two USB 3.0, and uh, connected for the headset on the front. There's nothing on the side, by the way. That's the power button over here on the top. And then we have a display port, HDMI out. That's a connector for your PSU. There's even a Kensington key lock, Ethernet connector, and an additional um, two USB 3.0 ports. Once again, this is just unbelievably light. And yeah, this could turn into an ultra mobile video editing and even gaming machine or living room PC or desktop PC. Um, so what I'm gonna show you right now is how we're going to open it because therefore we need to unscrew these four screws on the bottom and uh, then we're gonna take a look and, uh, at the motherboard and how you're getting your memory in there and your SSD. Okay, finally, I just unscrewed these long four screws here, and we can finally take a look at the motherboard and how I got the SSD in there and um, the two memory 
bars or banks here. Um, so once again, 8 GB Kingston 1600 megahertz memory and I'm using a 2.5 inch um, SSD from Samsung. This is the 840. What you can see over here actually is that you can also get an MSATA SSD in there. Uh, but this is the Wi-Fi module and therefore I'm not sure if you need to get the Wi-Fi module out before um, to put an uh, MSATA SSD in there. So I've been just using um, this one, SATA 3, um, that's a 6 gigabyte or gigabit um, connector and therefore it should just offer you um, an amazing performance and this is exactly what we're going to look at right now. So Windows 7 Professional is installed on the Gigabyte Bricks Pro. Let's um, do a little boot up race right now to see how long it takes. Okay. So that's 10 seconds now. Here comes the desktop at 15 seconds. It's loading some apps. So I would say roughly around 20 seconds to boot up the Bricks Pro in combination with the Samsung SSD 840 while running Windows 7 Professional. So let's check out some video editing. Here I have Adobe Premiere CC. So this is the latest one from Adobe that does offer Iris Pro graphics acceleration. So to make sure that's turned on, head over into project settings, then we're gonna go into general. And then over here, Mercury Playback GPU Acceleration, so the OpenCL stuff, or you can just have the software only, which doesn't offer any, any hardware acceleration. So just click on OK. And if you're wondering what exactly, what kinds of effects are going to be able to take advantage of this, if you head in into Effects down here and then you click on Acceleration, so this is the list of effects that are GPU accelerated. So they are taking advantage of Iris Pro Graphics. Now if we look at the list, they're all, at, they're all effects that I use all the time, so this is really great for me. So brightness and contrast, uh, the three-way color corrector, warp stabilizer. Yeah, all of these offer acceleration, which is really, really great. Even if your eight-point mats down here, uh, basic 3D. Oh, and your transitions are also accelerated, which is nice. Anyways, let's just go back up and choose three-way color corrector. So let's just drop this onto here. I'll pull this back. So here we go. Let's head over into effects control. And let's decide to pull this all the way to red. And then over to green. And let's get some green and purple on there. So you can see that this doesn't need to be rendered. And here I am real time changing all the color up. So that's, that's really great. So at CES we had to do a one hour daily show wrap up. So what this meant was we had a lot of footage to put together and a lot of it needed to be color corrected because of the conditions on the show floor. So what we did is we brought the bricks with us. We connected it to the hotel TV by HDMI. We brought our own mouse and keyboard and voila, we had our own portable editing desktop. So here we are taking a closer look at CyberLink PowerDirector 12. So I have a five minute clip. This is shot with a Canon camera, so it's H.264 footage. And I'm gonna export this five minute clip to MP4 down to 16 Mbit. Now it is hardware accelerated through Intel's video QuickSync. So in total, this only took one minute and 18 seconds
So as I told you already, I've been writing about small form factors on embedded devices and mini ITX since 2001. So it's roughly around 12 years ago. And um, I've never ever seen a platform like this. The Gigabyte Bricks Pro is just bringing a small form factor or small PC to a whole new level. This is the ultimate, yeah, well, I wouldn't say gaming machine, but it's the ultimate gaming machine that fits into the palm of your hands. This, once again, 10 by 11 centimeters, only 1.5 kilograms, and you're getting an amazing Core i Haswell performance in combination with the HD5200 Iris Pro. This is, yeah, basically the fastest device that you can get in this form factor. If you are looking for a living room PC, if you're looking for something where you want to do some video editing on the go, if you're even looking for a gaming PC and when you're still playing Counter-Strike Source or whatever, or if you're still into Craig or um, games like this, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Even as you've seen, uh, Unreal looks uh, stunning on this device. What I really love about it, and this is what I've been using it for, um, is mainly video editing because uh, the HD5200 in combination with a software like um, PowerDirector from Cyberlink that offers you QuickSync, Intel's QuickSync technology, it's just, I mean, there's, there's nothing available that you can compare it to. You saw that we've been doing like a five minutes long um, 24 Mbit 1080p video and this little device was rendering it in 90 seconds. That's absolutely amazing. Let's talk a little bit about the price. I would guess that the bare one will go for about $500 and then you're adding an SSD for maybe another $150 to $200. Then you're adding 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is also another $150. Um, this adds up to about eight to 900 US dollars, which isn't cheap at all. But trust me, you are really getting professional performance in a small form factor. And therefore, you know what? All thumbs up for the Gigabyte Bricks Pro. This is the fastest small PC that is available on the market. And keep in mind, we've been only testing the Core i5-4570 version. There's also the 4670 and a 4770, which will be even faster. Pro. So if you like our video, right, just give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. We share the video, subscribe to our channel. This is the Gigabyte Bricks Pro. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.